Hey, what's up guys with the Hall You Blast. I'm Oscar. I'm Serge. Today we're reacting to Kiss of Life and their new song, R.E.M. Now this is going to be their pre-comeback song like we just had with Misamo. Um, we are currently in the middle of trying to catch up on Kiss of Life. Yes. So we're trying to get catched up by the comeback, but I don't think that's happening because at first I was like, maybe we'll just catch up on the group videos. But after we did the first one, we realized that there's actually a storyline and all the member videos are all connected, which leads up to what is their debut group video. Uh -huh. So we're currently in the middle of that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I say we just jump into this one though. Yes, I'm excited to see. R-E-M. Rem. I wonder if it's like Rem, like sleep cycle. It is, yes. Yeah. It has to, I mean, what else could it be? Running up. I don't know. I give up. I too was trying to think of something clever, but that would imply me being clever, period. English? That was a English song? The only reason I know is because of the subtitles. I'm a little upset that uh, our eclipse is cloudy. Those are CGI dogs. Yeah. <laughs> Those walking a little funky. Hanul. Okay. Yeah, as soon as Hanul started singing in English, I was like, this is 100% all in English, because mm -hmm. I know for a fact mm. she has, I don't want to say the worst English in the group, but her is down there. The reason I say that is because there is a clip I saw, mm -hmm. and I love it. She's wearing a hat mm -hmm. and it says family disappointment and she has no oh. idea. And I think it's Belle tells her, she sees her hat and she's like, oh no. And she was like, what? She's oh. like, I don't know what it means. So she was like, it means, she tells her it means family disappointed in Korean. <laughs> it's just, it's the funniest thing ever. I don't know. I mean, I low key would like that. Hat. It, it, it's so good. But um, yeah, I don't know. I was kind of surprised though. I wasn't expecting a full English song. Wow. Um... I'm a little, I'm a little on the fence again. Okay. But it's not, it's not. I don't think for the issue that I had with Nisamo. Yeah. Um, 
or lack thereof rather, because I didn't really have an issue with it. Yeah. Um, so again, to reiterate how I rate songs, right? A three would be a song that goes onto the playlist mm -hmm. and anything below that doesn't, right? Mm -hmm. So threes go on playlists, they pop up, I listen to it, I maybe skip, right? Yeah. Four would be a song that I would actively look for and listen to, but I wouldn't repeat it, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe I would, maybe I wouldn't. Fives are songs that I would listen to over and over and over again, yeah. you know, right? So, um, but that being said, I don't think this song deserves anything less than a five. Okay, I did not expect so, that, wow. I was amazed. Yeah. Like, honestly, that was, wow. Um, this, if the Quiero was the song that I think, like, sub, I guess, subsumed my interest into the group, yeah, because I that's where I developed my bias for Natty mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. And then we listened to Sh, and I was like, okay, this song is amazing, right? Yeah. Um, this kind of really cemented that for mm -hmm. me, because um, I've, I mean, I've known that they, the girls, have been all incredibly vocally talented, yeah. right? This is something that I think a lot of the fan base has been telling everybody yeah. for the longest time since the group has been has came has been a thing, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I, I think this song really, really even showcased that to me, um, even if I had known prior. Um, that was so buttery. Uh, some other vocals. That's I, a good I, way to describe yeah, it. Yeah, I that was like buttery, flaky, especially Hunnell's <sighs> part. Oh, I, like, exactly. I I don't listen to. Oh, actually, I don't think I've listened to any B sides from Kiss of Life mm -hmm. unless you count the member ones. But even with that, I don't really remember her solo song. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. I I think out of all the voices, well, I mean the four voices in Kiss of Life, I think hers is the one I can't really pick out very well, or I just don't hear it super well. And I mean, honestly, that might be because my focus is really towards Julie and Belle. I want to say most of the time, but I don't know. I, mm. I feel like hearing her here, I feel like I've never heard her before. Yeah, but right, like right there, in not the in a bad way. Yeah. It was just so good. That was I don't know. amazing. Yeah. Um, so again, I I don't I feel like this song deserves a five, but mm -hmm. I, I guess it's a it's a different standard of a five. It's a it's a five. So that, my type of five. Yeah, it would be yeah, your type of five where true. it's like if it pops up, I'm just I'm enjoying every second of it. But yeah. it's not a song that I would actively look for to listen. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I don't know. I guess I would give it, I would give it a five, but you a five, not me a five. Yeah, and I guess to <laughs> clarify, if you, a my a five is mm -hmm. like. I think I kind of rate songs. I mean, I do definitely. You definitely rate I, songs differently. I rate than them I do. differently for mm -hmm. him. For me, it's not so much about listen ability, because I just like some weird shit. He does. I'll just be, I'll just be honest with you. He does. I don't. I can acknowledge when a song is really objectively good, but just because it's good doesn't mean I'm going to listen to it. Correct. You know, it's kind of one of those things. So, like for this one, I think I would give it a strong four. Mm -hmm. Just because on the flip side for the five, I feel like there's nothing that, I don't know, actually, I'm on the fence on this one. You see, it's, yeah. it's difficult. It's because that, I want was, to... that was magical almost. That was that was fantastic, but it, I, I, I don't, I don't know. Tough. I'm gonna give it a 4.5. Okay, that's I'm in Because for fives for me, I feel like are very, clear cut okay as soon as i hear this song i know this song is a five mm -hmm. and i didn't really get this one it makes me kind of dig through the song to figure out what would make it a five mm -hmm. and i don't know if something about that tells me it's not a five it's like i'm looking for a reason to give it a five mm -hmm. which is why but Hunnell's part just sticks up immediately. Mm. And then the high notes that Bell's hitting at the end. And I honestly like the little rap break mm -hmm. Julie did. It was, it was and Natty's part was just great too. So like, it's a bunch of little part. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, yeah. There's a bunch of parts that's culminating instead of like part, yeah. one huge like thing that I could really point out where it makes me love the song. Mm -hmm. With that being said, I don't know if this was a song I would ever look for. See, that's the thing. I don't think I would either. But I feel like this, this kind of reminds me of uh, Baby Monster because they're I think they're the group I've been listening to the most lately. Mm -hmm. And I typically don't listen to ballad songs, mm -hmm. which I would I would categorize as this. I mean, mm -hmm. it's a yeah, I'm just going to say it's a ballad song. I'm just going to I just throw it into that category. It's a okay. slower song. Slower song. Um, but with these slower songs, I don't really actively look for them. Um, if they come on, great, but it's usually because I'm listening to the album. Mm -hmm.
But like, I won't throw these on a playlist. Mm -hmm. That's just kind of how it is. And I, I would. That's 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 the, I guess the defining line between yeah. you and I. Um, but I, I, man, I can just picture myself. It's been a, a terrible day at work. I'm, mm. I'm upset. I'm angry. I'm tired. I'm hungry. Driving home, this song pops up. I'm just, you know. Dude, if I if I had a bad day at work, <sighs> I am putting on the angriest, no. most vile shit you could think of. Like, I mean, yeah, orphan, like, distant, like any of those like super hardcore bands. I don't mm -hmm. know. Maybe that's just how I do it. Yeah, again, it's just a, it's a long drive home. Yeah. I don't want to be angry the entire way back. Mm -hmm. So a good like ballad to calm me down and soothe my nerves is, is something that I would look for. I so think... I guess in that case, a very situational five. <laughs> that is true. I don't know what would I, okay. What situation would I give? I think if I wanted to just zone out completely, okay, but have a good vibe while doing it, if yeah. that makes sense, like yeah. maybe like a car drive, but one with no traffic. So that means I'm not. <laughs> so that means I'm not driving in Austin. Okay. So I went. I went to the tattoo shop yesterday, right? Okay. Tattoo shop isn't very far from my work, but holy shit. Like a five minute drive turned into like 30 minutes and I didn't even go on the highway. Like God, traffic, I mean, I won't be one of those people who like I hate Austin because I hate the traffic. I feel like when you live in a big city, you, it, it comes to the territory. It comes to the territory. You know? So I'm not gonna be, I don't hate it, but holy shit. <laughs> It's something, I don't know, but yeah. It has, it has felt like it's gotten worse. Yeah, but yeah, I don't know. For me, this is like a, a situational five, but I don't know, I, I think at the end of the day, I'll give it a 4.5, but I can see this going up if I really end up diving deep into Kiss of Life, mm -hmm. like going through all the discography, having it on repeat nonstop. Mm -hmm. There's not many very artists I do that for ever. It's actually extremely rare, there's only been a handful of groups that I do that for, and I'm talking about extreme handful. Most of the time, it's like a song or two or a couple songs, but never like whole discography on repeat. But I don't know, man. There's a lot of stuff from Kiss of Life I've, I've been really enjoying. I think mm -hmm. from everything Midas Touch might be the weakest link for me. But I mean, I really haven't listened to it since we- I don't we, know, I kind of want to go back and listen yeah, to it Yeah, I was like, again. I haven't listened to it since mm. we reacted to it. So my opinion on that could change. And I mean, I'm going to see them live. And you are. Whenever you see a group live, I feel like it can totally shift oh, your view on a group. It can 100%. go from like a 2% a interest to like through the roof. Mm. Like it hasn't really that, just that depends. That has happened to you before, hasn't it? Oh, WJSN. WJSN, yeah. WJSN I kind of liked. And then the first time, or we went to Korea as a group, we went to uh, the WJSN fan meet. I don't think you went. I did not. But we went to the WJSN fan meet. It was like their first one ever, and I just like fell in love. Yeah. And then I just dove deep into that he group. He did, and it was crazy. I just loved it. Mm. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like that's super situational for me at least, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Anything else for this one? No, I mean, that was just great. I, I, again, I'm continually being more and more impressed by this group, so. And we have their comeback, I believe, next week or in two weeks. It's coming up pretty Genuinely shortly. Genuinely excited. Yeah, so I don't know. We're both looking forward to that one. But that is going to be it for this video, guys. Like always, see you later.